Assalamualaikum and very good morning. My name is Muhammad Adam Haris bin Arif Faisal from QDIS Worldwide Edu Systems in Jalan Mulia. Me and my group members will conduct a program which is used at the community project. Basically, our program is Motong Royong for Environmental Awareness at SMK Lhasa. Okay, my name is Muhammad Arizam bin Mayaji. I will present about background and statement of need. For background, cleanliness of the environment is one important thing that we need to concern. The awareness among society in Malaysia toward the importance of preserving the environment is unsatisfactory. This kind of attitude is not good and will decline the environment cleanliness statistic in Malaysia. The rate of the people that exposed to malaria and dengue disease also will increase. Actually, this is because of the dirty place condition. The bacteria and bad microorganisms will spread through the water that was contaminated. Increase the funding to treat patients that exposed to disease. As we know, the cost to have treatment is very high because the government cannot support all people in Malaysia. So our company QDES Worldwide Edu System Sendirian Berhad will collaborate with SMK La Sale to doing Gotoroyong program create awareness among the community. Okay for statement of me, Malaysia law were too unsatisfactory causes the Malaysia people do not have responsibility and awareness in maintaining the cleanliness of the environment. Based on the Borneo Post New in 2013, Malaysia currently occupy rank 75 in terms of cleanliness in the world. From my observation, Malaysia people usually throw garbage outside the rubbin beach. Even though the rubbing beach was provided in any site, it will lead to very high cost of managing the waste like that occur in SMK La Salle. It also caused the air pollution and harm our community with various diseases such as malaria and dengue. As we know, these bacteria actually come from the water or air pollution. So we must immediately clean the environment by doing Gotoroyong program because the rate of people that are exposed to this disease always increase from day to day. We hope from this program will create the awareness about save the environment, save your life among the community in school and then all Malaysia. Goals and objectives. Goal 1. To improve the living environment for the community in the school to feel safe by reducing the malaria and dengue cases near school area. Objective 1. School community will be aware and exposed by the malaria and dengue fever with the campaign poster and mural that QD has made. 2. Every student will have the set of responsibility which they can make their own move in order to reduce the cases in the future. 3. By removing the stagnant water, we can keep the environment clean so that hospitals can win and can reduce the number of malaria and dengue cases. Goal 2. To help standard the spirit of camaraderie among the students, teachers, and their sense of belonging to the school. Objective 1. Students will be implement and exposed with uh, positive values such as trust, help, and love for their school and environment that is essential as students. Number two, the school community will build one spirit to help each other for the same mission in cleaning the school and the same objective to reduce malaria and dengue cases. Three, by doing this program, we can build a close relationship with the community to help them aware with their school environment. Description and program. The name of the project is Goto Royal for Environmental Awareness. Short summary. The program will be about Gotong Royong for environmental awareness in order to reduce the malaria and dengue cases near school area. We choose SMK Lhasa in Tarikaya as our location of the program. 
the main purpose of all goal for this program is to improve the living environment for the community in the school. The rapidly increase for the number of dengue and malaria cases made us come up with the idea of the program Gotong Royong. The program will create awareness and sense of responsibility to keep environment clean. In addition, by doing this program, it can build a close relationship with the community that shows their concern for the school environment. Location 10. The location is at SMK Lazar, Putali Jaya. This location is chosen because SMK Lazar is located at the same district with our company. Target community. The target community is the students, teachers, staff at SMK Lazar. That at the time, the program will start at 30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. on 4 July 2020. Me as the director, Muhammad Adam Haris, with our advisor, and my members, Muhammad Alizan with Madiazi, Mama Haidar bin Muhammad Shukri, Dia Adusti Adalina, and Nurul Shamila Binti Sarir. SWOT Analysis Strength We have the knowledge on how to conduct a program with the community in school. We are a young community who can work well and enjoy working with students in school. Weakness We have no experience in conducting the program with the community in the school that can cause a rating. Opportunity. We can learn a new thing with the student based on understanding their need. We can promote our company name. 3. Some place for Gotong Royong may be too dangerous to clean the stagnant water. The mural that painted may be because of vandalism for students who are not responsibilities. To promote this event, we can boost our poster through major social such as Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp status. Second, uh, compulsory for the staff to join this event and we prepare the lucky draw prizes for to attract the staff. Program operation. Uh, based on the whole program activity, the program operation cost for this proposed program is approximately 9,189 ringgit including the miscellaneous expenses. The projected income will be from two resources, which are company sponsorship with 5,000 and sponsorship from KLC up to 5,000 as well. The total of the projected uh, income will be approximately 10,000. The impacts and outcomes for this event, firstly, we can improve our social responsibilities and citizenship skills. Secondly, we can increase hygiene awareness among students and participants. Furthermore, we will increase our sense of self-efficacy, humanity, spiritual growth, and moral development. Moreover, we will improve our skill in workplace, such as uh, teamwork, communication, and task management and organization. Last but not least, this activity promotes the awareness of giving back to the community at the same time, introducing QD Syndrome Berhad to the people. Hello, I am Dia Gusti Adena and I want presenting for our group poster. The title of the poster was Clean Up Day, which means um, the Gotong Royal one, and it will help at SMK La Salle on 4 January 2021. And for the details, um, information, it shows in the slides. Um, so, for the email of intention, the purpose of our email um, from the hygiene surround school that impact the health of people on SMK La Salle, which needs to the cleaning and socialization. The goals of our project was first um, to work with the local community to clean up the school and create a comfortable and healthy environment. Second, we will give a place of, our, of art on school to make it more beautiful in, in, and interesting with a simple and beautiful mural which use um, the black ink so it's like a silhouette and the last 
the last one is we will do some talks and socialization related to environmental awareness um, to reduce the risk of getting malaria and dengue. The part uh, the people who will participate on these projects um, is our staff of our company, local community, the student of SMK SMK La Salle, teacher of SMK La Salle, and the school staff. The other things that they will get, um, they will have a benefit with the healthy and hygiene of SMK La Salle. Second, the cost of the project will be borne by our company. And the last thing is we will provide meals for all participant students in the project. For my part, I will briefly explain uh, the program tentative and also the program operation. Here on the slide, you can see the program tentative throughout the day. Our team plan to arrive early to the school for the advanced preparation and the final briefing to all the facilitator uh, before 8.30 a.m. All students will be ready in the SMK La Salle Hall for the program introduction session where our team leader will be explain briefly about this program and also the activity that will be conducted. All the activity will be conducted uh, recording uh, to respective form, form 1 until form 5 at a different specific place. Uh, from uh, 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., quarterly activity and also the mural drawing activity will be conducted simultaneously. Then a uh, short break time will be from 10.30 a.m. until 11 a.m. All students will be get a KFC milk set provided by the program committed. At 11 a.m., a representative from the Jabatan Kesehatan Negeri Selangor will be give a talk entitled Gotong Royong for the Environmental Wellness. The talk program will be end around 12.30 p.m. That's all for our team. I can see that our time is just about up so to finish. I like to say thank you and I sincerely appreciate that I had this opportunity to present to you. Thank you.